All right, let's look at a pretty interesting law now called Newton's uh, Law of Cooling. And this is really a fascinating thing, the way it works. And the people that figured it out, brilliant. Uh, we're going to really look at it now and examine where it comes from and how it works. So if we've got hot coffee at room temperature, water that's overheat, a cake just from the other oven, uh, all these things follow Newton's Law of Cooling. So the coffee that I'm drinking right now came out of the spigot and uh, into my cup, really hot. But right now it's um, right now it's it's not as hot as it was when it first came out. So what's happened to it? It's cooled, and believe it or not, it's cooled based on the surrounding temperature of my classroom, and it's cooled based on um, the fact that it's no longer being heated. It's just sitting here on my desk. So it follows Newton's law of cooling as it does this. Like I can take the coffee if I know what the coffee's temperature is out of the coffee pot into my coffee I can set it down and if I can de determine the temperature of my room I can figure out how long my coffee will take to cool to a temperature that I can drink and then cool even more to a temperature that I don't care for so uh, what we have is this differential equation the t change in temperature divided by the change in time and remember when you're talking about change in temperature um, we could say this right here that DT this is the top, the top of this uh, fraction. DT is equal to the change in time, which is your temperature of your item minus the temperature of the surrounding area. Okay? And, and so if we know that, then um, what we have is, is we can rewrite this equation right here, which is going to become DDT of T minus TS. And that's going to be equal to negative k times t minus the surrounding area, which is ts. Um, and, and so we can, again, go one step further with this and separate our variables and do all our integrating. But we're, we're basically, what we're using is our law of exponential change. And so let's just rewind real quick. Law of exponential change has this shape. y equals the initial amount e to the uh, kt power, okay? And so back to Newton's law of cooling, what this does for us, what this guy does for Newton is it takes our original initial amount, okay? And for us, our original initial amount is, is gonna be that original initial change in temperature, okay? And so our problem then, if we follow what we've done over here previously, what we've set up, we're going to integrate, we're going to separate variables, integrate, and it's going to have this shape, right? And so what we end up with is, is this, T minus the temperature of the surrounding area, because if you integrate this side, that's what you get, is equal to T initial, all right, or the initial temperature, minus the temperature of the surrounding area, okay? And then our E, K, T. And in this case, uh, our K will have a negative sign in front of it because we're talking about a decay situation where temperatures are cooling. And, and so if you just follow the steps that we've taken previously, we can get to this equation, all right, from this differential equation. And if you want to sort that out on your own, that's fine. For me, for what we're going to do, uh, I want you to just to see that there is a relationship here. Look, lots of things are the same. Look how lots of things here are the same. I want you to just recognize the similarities between these two items, okay? Um, we don't necessarily need to prove all this in class. I just want you to understand, look, this is a differential equation. We are solving it out. We are going to use integrals and all that kind of thing to get to Newton's law because we're examining the change. So what we're going to do is we're going to take Newton's law of cooling here and we can actually apply it. TS is the surrounding temperature. TO is the initial temperature when you, my coffee comes out of the, of the coffee pot. And T right here, this T, is my final temperature over a certain amount of time. So this is a really complicated equation. Let's check it out. Use our new equation, T minus TS is equal to T sub zero minus T sub S E the negative KT and solve this question. Hard boiled egg at 98 degrees Celsius. 
is put in a pan under running 18 degrees Celsius water to cool. After five minutes, the egg's temperature is found to be 38 degrees Celsius. How much longer will it take the egg to reach 20 degrees Celsius? Well, here's the deal. T0, our initial temperature, is 98 degrees. Okay, the surrounding area in this in this case is the uh, 18 degree water. So uh, T S is equal to 18 degrees. All right, we're told that our time is five minutes, and then we're told that after that time, the temperature of the egg is 38 degrees. All right. We've got enough now to get started with our uh, Newton's Law of Cooling, okay? All of these things up here uh, are going to be used. We're going to use all of these guys. We're just not going to use K. We're going to discover K because as we discover K, we're going to find the relationship for this particular problem, okay? So uh, 38 minus 18, and I'm just substituting into Newton's law that's written right there at the top of the page. The initial temperature, 98, minus the surrounding temperature, 18, times E to the negative 5T. Okay, so 38 minus 18 is 20. 98 minus 18 is 80. Uh, divide both sides by 80 because what we're going to try and do is get that E all alone. So we're going to end up here with 1 fourth equals E to the negative 5T. We're going to take the natural log of both sides. Natural log allows us to get rid of the E. A natural log of E is whatever the exponent is, in this case it's 5t. So when I natural log both sides here, natural log, natural log, I end up with the natural log of 1 fourth equals negative 5t. Divide both sides by negative 5. And we find out, this. Should, I'm sorry, this should be k the whole time. Gee willikers, this should be k, k, k. 5 is our t. We already knew that. So k, 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 k. All right. So pause the video real quick. Punch this into your calculator. See what you get. See if it matches mine. I'm going to do that right now. And I get K to be, I get K to be 0.277. And I'm going to go ahead for accuracy. I'm going to go ahead and carry it out uh, one more decimal place. 2773. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy and substitute him back into this equation because now I want to know how long will it take the egg to get to 20 degrees Celsius? So all of these numbers change now, not all of them. So my original temperature is 98. The temperature of the surrounding is 18. Time is now something I don't know. But my final temperature now is going to be 20. And by the way, we discovered K is going to be uh, 0.2773. So I can use this equation again, Newton's Law of Cooling. I'm going to do it one more time. And this time I'm going to solve for T instead of K. So it's all the same things that we just have worked out. This time T instead of K. 98. Uh, let's see, back up. 38. Let me back up again. G Willikers. 20. The temperature that we're interested in. Minus 18, the temperature of the surrounding area is equal to the starting temperature minus the temperature of the surrounding area times E to the negative K, 
t. All right, and uh, there you go. That's the setup for this guy. Now we just follow our math. Two equals um, eighty e to the negative point two seven seven three t. So divide both sides by eighty, and that's going to be one fortieth equals e to the negative point two seven seven three t. I'm getting low on space here. Uh, take the natural log of both sides. And when you do that, you get the natural log of 1 over 40 is equal to negative 0.2773t. And just divide both sides <clears throat> by that negative 0 0.2773. So pause the video real quick if you want, uh, or whatever, and punch that into your calculator. See if you can get what I get. And I got 13.3 minutes. So there you go. Newton's law of cooling. Got to solve it twice to get your ultimate final answer, which is this bad boy right here.